go ahead and use the raise hand button. We'll start with Gabriel. Hello, Janae, can you hear me? Yeah, all good. Perfect. Um, we touched on it in our interview yesterday, but I just wanted to follow up. Uh, working with uh, Bose and Disney, first off, you know, I think the big one helping to promote the remake of Mulan, just how did that partnership and how did they reach out to you for that one? Yeah, it's crazy. They just reached out to me over Instagram, um, just slid into my DMs. And I guess it was something that, of course, like I wanted to do straight away. It was their marketing team um, that they'd partnered up with. And then um, we just looked over the deliverables and I was like, for sure, like either way, I would love to to get on board with this. I gave them my fee and, and there we go. Like it's just some of the kind of new options, I guess, especially with this new world, we need to um, collaborate more on social media and get that kind of virtual connection a little bit more, especially considering considering the retelling was all premiered on Disney plus instead of uh, as the original plan was to be in cinemas. So, so yeah, it was really good for me. Do you think that Kat Zingano will fight Chris Cyborg next? And how do you see that fight going? Yeah, I mean, I think possibly it, it's um, one of those divisions where it's kind of hard to see a clear number one contender, um, but that would be a fantastic matchup and a fantastic fight. Um, I think it would be a close one. I mean, I really enjoyed Kat Zingano's last performance. Um, she showed a lot of maturity and a lot of experience. So for that reason, I mean, she could change it up and, and possibly get the win over someone like Chris. Thank you. Steve? Hi, Janae. Thank you for the time. I've got two questions for you today. Sure. The first is, how do you feel about being in the United States for this fight right now when everything is so tense politically and with the election? I know it was super crazy. It was really only until like Friday that I realized that I would be here for the election. It hadn't even crossed my mind. And then um, now that I've got my other corner, Mallory here, and she's also kind of, I guess, expressing like the intensity of the election and then even the fact that uh, her hometown Denver they're starting to board up some shops and stuff I'm really starting to understand the credibility of of what kind of time it is right now and it's crazy I mean like in Oz we we try to keep like pay attention to to the election over here because what happens over here does affect us um but at the same time all I watched was like the first debate and then now I have no idea what's going on in a sense and I've just been concentrating on this fight um it'll be super interesting come Tuesday how everything goes and, and what goes down and you feel like your fight here with Jesse Miele is a good distraction for people I hope so. I really hope everyone's kind of, you know, paying attention to what's good in the world, sports, especially. We had a good card last Thursday and we have another one this Thursday. So I'm hoping um, you guys kind of tune in and, and guess take your mind off the negatives in the world at the moment. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, Donna. Hi, Janae. How's it going? Good. Thank you. How are you? Great to hear from you. Uh, your fight with Liam McCourt was one of the first uh, casualties of the whole coronavirus pandemic. You know, it was one of those things where maybe something was going to be worked out by May, evidently not even close. Um, mm -hmm. Now you're, you're fighting Jesse Mila. Do you think that fight with Liam McCord is ever going to happen? And, and are you hoping to get that fight? 100%. And I know that uh, in interviews, she's also said that she would love to honor it. So I think it's something that after she comes back from her surgery, um, we can definitely figure out a, a date that best suits the both of us and, a, and a hopefully also a location. I guess with everything at the moment, it's kind of hard to figure out. I really don't think the UK will be an option. And after, I guess, the Italy and France, it, she may have to come over to the States and I'll meet her here. Um, but whatever we can do, I know that we're both keen for that matchup. So if we can, hopefully early 2021, that will be awesome. I'm not super clued in with all of the political goings on in, in Australia, but I do understand the travel, air travel is, is not exactly the easiest thing to come by. Getting from Sydney or from particularly Victoria to the States, not so, not so easy. Can you talk us through uh, how exactly you were able to get to Mohegan Sun for this fight? Yeah, I mean, East Coast especially. Um, I mean, I, I much prefer fighting on the West Coast as a little bit of a shorter leg, but mm -hmm. but I have fought the Mexican Sun before, so I, I kind of, it was Sydney to LA, LA to Boston, and then we had to drive down two hours. So it was a little bit of travel. I mean, all up from the point that I left my house to the point that I walked into my hotel room, it was about 31 hours. Um, so obviously that kind of puts me behind, but at the same time, this is my fifth fight time fighting in the States. I'm almost used to it. I kind of know the tricks of the trade. I'm, I'm pretty well traveled in general, um, living in the UK and living in Asia a little bit as well. So I kind of know what to expect and I just sort of take it with the gig. It, it is what it is. It's part of fight week now and, and we just get it done. 
it's been a pretty uh, crazy time in Australia. I understand that different parts of the country have more severe lockdowns than others. Um, what what have your like your family and stuff been making of of uh, of that? And, and were they in any way concerned about you getting on a plane going to uh, you know America where there's you know a, a, a huge amount of cases? Was what's uh, what's that been like for you? Yeah, I mean, like they almost stress more than I did. Like, I was just like, I just want to fight. Like, I, I I don't really care where it is. And if like the whole place is ridden with COVID, I'll figure it out. But, um, but of course, like once I got over here, I really understood the substantial difference between Australia and um, the U S and the way of cases. I mean, I was coming from Sydney. I think when I left, there was only like two cases in all of our state, let alone um, coming over here and just knowing how, how much more prominent it is. It's sort of just like, I guess like, and the really average thing is that I'm from Queensland. I'm currently in New South Wales. So um, unfortunately the Queensland borders were closed for so long. So I couldn't even see my mom. I haven't seen her in maybe like six months or so just because I haven't been able to pay for like quarantining in both areas and, and spending a month of my life in hotel rooms. So um, of course she's been concerned. And then I guess it's heightened because we haven't been able to see each other. So I'm just hoping that, yeah, once I come back, we also have our elections going on at the moment. Things may change. It's kind of at that point where we're really lowering our COVID cases. So by the time I come back, I'll be able to go home and, and see my mom and see my family and kind of, I guess, de-stress them from all my traveling and what I do. Thank you. Thanks. All right, last question goes to Lenny. Hello, Janae. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you for asking. So you've been bouncing back from uh, boxing and MMA. Uh, which career are you most uh, invested in? 100% MMA. I've, I've let boxing go now. And I just, I knew that as much as it was improving my striking, it was also sort of taking away my attention from the things in MMA that I needed to work on the most. So yeah, so now it's all MMA and I'm really focusing on getting that belt. Yeah, so well, we have that said. Your last fight was a boxing fight, and that was almost a year ago. Was it uh, with the year away? What have you kind of learned when, why you haven't been able to compete? Well, I've been super lucky as much as COVID kind of hit at the start, of course, it changed the training regime up a little bit. And then the other thing is, I mean, it closed some of my gyms that I used to go to. So I ended up changing gyms. But all in all, it was for the positive. I'm now working with a really solid team. Everyone's super consistent. Um, the facilities at my new gym, King's Academy, are really, really good. So it's almost been a blessing in disguise in a sense. And I've started working on those things that I need, I was neglecting and I needed to work on. So now I feel like I've definitely fallen everything into place from working on that boxing to now adding in the wrestling and jujitsu a little bit more and, and kind of being a little bit more of a well-rounded fighter. Thank you so much and good luck this Thursday. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much, Janae. We'll be joined shortly by Jalen Bates.